Edge. In the ba- we back, we back. It's views going down. from the edge. J E, y'all. Views from the edge. We here, man. A brand new podcast, man. I want to thank everybody, man, for tuning in. Y'all already know what time it is. Um, got a lot of hot topics. We're gonna keep this thing going, man. Um, hope y'all enjoy it. And um, you know, hit us up and give us y'all opinion. Y'all already know. Jacket Edge every week. Views from the edge. Boom. What we got, fellas? First up in the latest views, we got a Utah school experienced a large wave of backlash over a policy that would have allowed parents to opt their children out of the Black History Month curriculum. Mm. They withdrew that option after heavy scrutiny from the NAACP, right. NBA players, and their Republican representatives. Right. What y'all think about that, fellas? Racist. Racist. <laughs> it's racist. <laughs> Some hey, more you racist. Know, See, <laughs> I, you know what I think about shit like this? Same thing I thought about Trump getting elected. <laughs> right. Real talk. Like, you know, uh, it's my theory that it's an MLK in every black neighborhood, in every mm-hmm. black city. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And or in, in, in every white city, it's a it's an MLK, and that's to mark off where the fuck we at. <laughs> like for people who ain't from there, they, oh, you know, you see MLK, that's where the niggas is at. That's right. where the black right. folks right. is at. Right. And I feel like when I see things like Trump being elected for president, when I see things like Utah. Um, basically, you know, not wanting to co- to celebrate a black holiday, I feel like that's that's perfect because it shows us how you really feel. Right. Right. And right. we get to know now. Okay, over there they don't fuck with us. Period. Right. Let's let's Period. let's stay away from over there. They ain't they ain't with us like that. And and so Utah, I like them little markers. Go ahead. Right. Go Utah has a specific kind of racial racist history. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. But I think you know for me it's like. I'm at I'm at the point where I feel like exactly how he feels, but at the same time, I'm like, listen, everything you want to do, let us do it in reverse. No doubt. If you can let d- people slide out of their black history curriculum, let us slide out of our white history curriculum. No doubt. Right. Period. You know what I'm saying? Period. Y'all don't when you look at it like that, y'all don't want to deal with it. Because it's all a lie anyway. Absolutely. All a lie anyway. Absolutely. So no, I, listen, if y'all going if it's good for them, it's good for us. Either way y'all want to do it. Yeah. Ours ain't no lie. I'm just <laughs> down, I'm down, <laughs> we really went through it. I'm down <laughs> for people saying how they really feel. Everybody right, don't gotta love us. Everybody right. don't gotta like you. It's right. okay. And I and I would rather know those people than Absolutely. not. Absolutely. Right. No doubt. Right. No doubt. I want people to understand that black history We don't like your ass either. Yeah, black history is American history, exactly. Sure is. How about that? Definitely. Next up, man, we got two men with big knives approach you outside of a trampoline park at night. You've got your gun on you. What do you do? A 20-year-old man has died after participating in a YouTube prank gone horribly wrong outside of an urban air in Nashville, Tennessee. Listen, I'm going to give give you what you came for. Listen, right. But uh, listen, first question my brother asked me about this earlier was, was it a white dude? And it's crazy because... I see on t- online all the time, people, white dudes pr- pranking, pranking black dudes, and it don't go like they want. Stop pranking niggas, yeah, man. For real. For real. Yeah. We don't always play like that. Like we, I absolutely. Niggas we don't, don't even play, play like the radio that. in the car. <laughs> right. right. But, 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 I mean, but, but when you playing with that type of, right. you know, firearm, right. I mean, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know what you don't that know, is. Right. You know what I'm saying? We live in perilous time right now, man. Right. And I will have fired his ass up. I'll tell you like, hey, I'll, 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 maybe, I'll, I'll, barbecue <laughs> grill, <laughs> fired his ass. Up. And look, look, yeah. and real talk though. I mean, we're gonna feel bad that anybody lost their life. Right. But like right. they say, you play stupid games, you win right. stupid prizes. You know what yeah. I mean? Right. Stop yeah. playing them games out there, yes, man. Sir. It's a crucial time right now. I'm a lot of people you. on edge. It's not the time to just be playing with. Now. I don't you know think you play with knives, period. Like what you mean? Especially if I got a strap on me. And people, and people out here talk about. People are out here really getting robbed. Like. That ain't Real no talk. like right. Right. Ain't playing. <laughs> Real talk. Rape, <laughs> rob, not playing. Yeah, not, not playing. playing. Right. Yeah. Exactly. When you come from exactly. that, you don't find that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 No, you don't. Exactly. You don't. Exactly. It ain't funny, bro. That, that's what it like, is. We done had niggas try. Yeah, I mean, no, no right. it ain't funny. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't funny. Let me add this curveball. At the end, after the smoke cleared, they found out that the guys were actually friends. That's why he actually tried to do the prank on him. But in the oh, panic they, of nighttime, he didn't recognize him. So that's even shot him was his friend. But that show you even more though. You can't listen if your own friend can't sneak up. On your yeah. play game, like stop, stop playing, playing these games, right. like for real. But you know what I'm saying? Damn, I ain't know. I and I'm know sure dude feel yeah. bad as shit, yeah. but I know yeah, he do. Yeah, he do. That's why you don't play certain ways, man. No doubt. Yeah. 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 Doing, they doing anything for views and clout. And no real. doubt, no doubt. Man. Clout is not yeah. that serious. No, it's not. Clout chasing goes wrong. But you know, talk and I, about it. And to take it even a little bit further, man. The reason why you can't play because people need to know, as a man, it's certain things you're not going yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. Stop playing. And if you and if you got me questioning if some life. Threatening shit is real or fake? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. signing with do me. It. I'm right. signing with life. I'm signing with me. Don't do it. I'm signing with the life, baby. <laughs> For real. No, no real doubt. Shit. 
Next up, man, home team, T.I. and Tiny show of Family Hustle has been put on ice after a lot yeah. of allegations about coercion for sex. Man. Not good at all. Not Are not celebrities not under not attack? Not believable and not good. Is this Me Too movement, is, Listen. It, is it doing a lot? Are Listen. celebrities under attack? Listen, I, mm. I, honestly, I feel like sometimes, yeah, because... Especially black. And that's, you know, especially with us, we got a history with Tip and Tiny. We didn't know Tiny since we was all teenagers, Teenage, you know what I mean? For real. And you talking about one of the sweetest people yeah, in the on world. The planet, you know what I mean? Like, we'll yeah, really do man. anything for you. Take a shirt off her back. Well, not, you know, but you Period. take a coat off her back, give it to you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no yeah. But I mean, like, so <clears throat> when you say our celebrities under attack, it seems like, yeah, because it's like, it's like anybody can say anything about you and get your whole shit flow and your whole shit right. canceled, your whole right. life stopped. Right. And nothing even been proven yet, but yet they lost their show. Yeah, and and now, it's like, now it's once, it, once it comes out, and it, you know, they end up, smoke you know, get, get the smoke clear. They end up can't getting past get that, all this. Look right. what they've lost, and right. you, you feel what I'm saying yeah. because of yes. allegations. You know, hey, what hey, hey, so, I mean, I mean, and, and, and plus, I'm not with the embarrassment. You know yeah, what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Like yeah. everybody, the type of things you want your name involved. That ain't one of them. Right. That, that, ain't one one of them. that, that, yeah. that ain't one of them. And and, 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 and and I'm sorry to cut you off, Kyle, but think about what type of careers these people have had. Right. Like these Stella. folks have twenty or better, twenty year or better careers, and nothing has ever come out about this. Like nothing, no nothing. I think it's Fuck like Tim here. said. Whatever they do in their bedroom, that's their business. That's their business. Right. I can, I can, listen, man. And I, I don't want to know. So we, I said this so we came on here. <laughs> As a regular person, you know, because we all regular people first. You know what I mean? As a regular person, I understand hearing things like that and being like, ooh, yeah. tip, tip. But I ain't trying to be funny. As a celebrity, when I hear shit like that, I'm like, listen, bro. You ain't got to do all, you ain't gotta do all that to, to have a experience with two right, women. Right, right. We've been doing this for a long We ain't never drugged, alcoholed. Yeah. Um, we ain't had, never had nobody Force, sign no disclosure Force, agreements. Yeah. Like, and you don't have You to. ain't got to do all that. So yeah, sometimes right. for me, it's hard for me to believe those type of stories till I it do is. see some real proof. It is. Like, it is. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to say, you know, from my side, our prayers go out to them and, and no absolutely doubt. Real, the whole man. thing that they yeah. involved Love. in. And I really hope it work out for them because, you know, like I said, we didn't know Titus, we were teenagers. And for real. She's just good people, man. man so we no wish doubt. her the best. We wish, tip, we wish Tip the best. Yeah. No, no doubt. doubt. No no doubt. doubt. At the end, the truth will be told in the yeah. end. So it will. Facts. 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 There's an update from um, one of the topics we talked about last week. Remember old girl um, who was locked up for raiding the Capitol? She actually was given and granted permission to leave the country again. Yeah. <laughs> Privilege. <laughs> Didn't we talk about that? Privilege. We talked about, talk about that a little bit in our in our opener. Privilege. So privilege, privilege has won. So gave again. her the right to go ahead and leave. To leave the country with a pending felony. Yeah, privilege. That's privilege. That's privilege. Shit, yeah, like he said, though, it's, it's more evidence of people just showing who they really are. You can say you can say whatever you want about equality and the Constitution, this and that. Those actions show who the fuck you really this are. This young lady bro. actually That's crazy. accused, she admitted that she was trying to sell um, the information she found on Nancy Pelosi's guest to Russia. Yeah. So what? that could she be admitted that? terrorism. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that yeah. is. That is. That's but, treason. But, 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 That's treason. Yeah. But, but, treason under the Constitution is punishable by, by death. death. Right. That's treason. Shit. But look, but look though, but, but, but when the man had went down to Stone Mountain, they locked him up. Just because he was like, you know, checking his gun. Right. And they said he put the gun up at the officer's face. That's crazy. They got him. Uh, I mean, he is locked up with no bail, bro. Let one no of bail. us. No let, bail. Let one of us try to sell Nancy Pelosi's computer to any, to, to, the, to a dude on the street. Right. On the street, and man. They're going to hang our ass. When he say one of us, he mean, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, okay. man. That's crazy. But you know what? That's it's crazy. funny because. Those conversations ain't don't even have to be had with us. Right. You right. know, we understand this white privilege. That shit's real. Yeah, it is Those, real. These conversations gotta be had with white people. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. It's certain listen, they I'm gotta some, be open to them. I was wondering the other day, right? Um I was watching some something that happened um in the seventies, the, the 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 car guy who was a woman, who was a dude posing as a woman. It had a fraudulent, it's called Dale, the Dale. That, right? Yeah. I <laughs> said, man, so good. even, <laughs> right, it, it's a good documentary for sure, but I said, only white folks even got the balls to do that. When we was, we were so worried about just getting killed for the dumbest shit, we wasn't taking <laughs> million and billion dollar chances of fraud and, and defrauding people Not and, back then. And, and billion dollar Ponzi <laughs> right, schemes. Right, right, we right. wasn't doing that. Right. Y'all have done that. We're doing it now. Right. We were scared of just jaywalk. Right. Right. You know I'm what I'm saying? You. But y'all been doing shit like that for years. Like, you get on, caught man. out after <laughs> dog, you dead, real, baby. Absolutely. Yeah. You're going to be somewhere in a real bush talk. home. Sometimes yeah. just, just like that, for Period. real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. That's crazy. That's crazy. Speaking of that bail money, y'all, check this out. A man died from COVID in a Houston jail cell last week because he couldn't afford the $100 Murder. 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 He was awaiting trial for stealing food, allegedly. 
His name was Preston Cheney. Um, He's black. Black man, of course. Of course. Yeah, but you had to ask. Hundred dollars. Said, said, said you have to ask, but you know, you just but you know be on your you mind. Know like, like, was he black? <laughs> but you can just but, see where things stack up. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I mean, crazy, number one, nobody, black, white, uh, whatever color, should lose their life over hundred something. Right. Yes, exactly. For real. I don't care. I don't care what yeah. the circumstances yes. are. Right. Yes. So if the only way to ensure he wasn't going to lose his life was to let him out, and then you're supposed to let him out. Like, let him that's, out that's, right. that's, that's the bottom line. Or get him help. Dollars. Like, or get him help. You know what I'm saying? Like, a hundred dollars. Like, that's what I say. If that's the only yeah. option, you let him out. Yeah. Other than that, you get him what he needs to, to, yeah. to survive. Lord yeah. have mercy. Yeah, that's, so, yeah. my, my question is this. Was the, the bail and the bond a thousand, and he needed a hundred to pay, or was it a hundred, and he needed ten to pay it? It says a hundred dollars bail. So there was a, it was a thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even so, it's still me. I mean, that shit ain't cool. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. I'm Either just gonna say why. Yeah. Why after diagnosing or testing <laughs> positive, why don't they then release you to right. better health? Right. 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 Period. Right. We're gonna hold you over a hundred dollars and it, right. it end up killing them. And your right. life in jeopardy. That's and we, didn't, I think we'd all seen images of a, a prisoner handcuffed to a hospital bed. Oh, yes. Put them a guard out there, put them on right. the bed with like you go. It's, it's, it's ways to handle this right. shit. Like, yeah. come on, man. Right. Then right, then you gotta ask, was it really even COVID? You know what I mean? Cause I'm just saying Boom. Some, sometimes Boom. you gotta wonder what's going I mean, it's just some yeah. things don't make no sense. Let's get into it. it. So you gotta really dig into it a little bit like was it even COVID? Yeah. Was it something deeper than that? You know what I mean? And we hate to be the conspiracy theorist people, but it be so much shit that go wrong for our people All that don't go time. wrong for nobody else. All the so time. You gotta ask these questions, bro. Right. Thanks. That's just sad, dog. I'm it is. Gonna, it it is, bro. Uh, y'all yeah, know the prison industry is a billion dollar industry, so it's all about it's about money at the end of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last, getting into this, it seemed like a dark list. But anyway, someone remotely accessed a computer for the city of Osmar. That's right outside of Tampa Bay, right outside the Super Bowl city. Uh, water's treatment system. In less than five minutes, they increased the amount of sodium hydroxide, a.k.a. lye, mm. to a deadly level. They went from 100 parts per million to 1,100 parts per million mm. in less than five minutes. Mm. Sheriffs are saying this should be treated as an act of terrorism. New form of I terrorism. Agree. That's did what it is. Died? That's what was it is. Did anything happen from it? Uh, a, a worker caught it. He noticed that his computer was being remotely controlled, and he caught it, so none of that lie actually got to drinkable right. stations. Did they figure out where it was coming from? No, but they know it was remotely done. They'll No arrests that's have been crazy. made and probably won't be made. New form of terrorism. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, that's, that's, that's chemical. Terrorism. That's chemical. That's right. chemical, chemical warfare. warfare. It's yeah. definitely yeah. domestic yeah. terrorism. Yeah. I mean, I mean yeah. you got to think, man, if you just drop one drop of something in some water, you, it ain't like you just go. Right. It ain't go water. Find it. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Let me put it up out there. But like we were saying earlier, I mean, even when you look at Flint, they water still ain't fixed. Yeah. So people is definitely using some of these tactics to 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 you know commit warfare. It's chemical mm -hmm. warfare. Everything, I mean, it makes no computer. sense that Flint, you know, since we're talking about that, they water been like this since the Obama era. Exactly. Like it's about, crazy. You know, about what three I'm years now. We talking about almost ten years. They water been and they still ain't fixed. So wow. it just don't make no. It's sense. been that long, ten yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I mean, if, if Trump had four, four and, and right, That's Obama, 12. right. You know what I'm saying? It was his second um, term, Obama. So I would say oh, okay. somewhere between somewhere eight, about and, 10, but, yeah, yeah, but close to ten though. Yeah. Damn, that's, crazy. Yeah. that's that's, that's wild. crazy. Yeah, that's how crazy. is that overlooked? Right, because right. it's a black city. It's a Meanwhile, black city. in Beverly Hills, they bathed in, in, in Aquafina. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Aqua, <laughs> Fiji, Fiji, Fiji. Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, man. So that's it for the views from the uh, latest views section. We're gonna get into this music and money. Y'all know this is the segment where we ask the guys a question. They tied in to a part of their history or their career. No doubt. And for music and money this week, we got what would qualify as a hit record in today's current landscape. Hmm. And hmm. tell us the story of how a hit record came together for you guys and how it changed your lives. Well, first off, what would qualify? Um, I think it's it's it's, it's such a a broad category now. I mean, such yeah. a broad answer for that because yeah. some people say they get a certain amount of streams, oh, I got a hit. Yeah. Some people say they get a certain amount of followers, oh, I got a hit. Some people yeah. say certain amount of spins, oh, I got a hit. hit but right. though those spins don't equal the type of spins that we had to have in our day to have a real legitimate hit. Yeah. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? But you know what, too? I, I think that is, I think the hits, it's, it's more demographical. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the old people got their hits. Right. You know, like I was. This Section. is. I had a conversation probably like um, maybe like a month and a half ago with with a young rapper, and um, I was. It was a it was a piano thing that he had, and it sounded like that. That sounded like that 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 little piano lick that Kim had. 
He like, who the fuck is Kim? He like, who is Kim? Who, 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 I never heard of this chick. Yeah. I was like, no, number one, Kim is a man. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. Right. right. Like, who the but I this think shit? for the, like, the last 10, 15 <laughs> years, it's been more demographical. The young people got their right, music, the older people got, got their music. Yeah. Right. You know it's what definitely mean? more sectioned off. Yeah. So that's why I say that the, the answer's so broad. I mean, to some people, a hit means this, and some people, a hit means that. So, I mean, it just mm-hmm. depends, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Um, has the fabric changed for you guys coming in before the internet era where you could pump yourself, you know what I'm saying? Have you guys seen um, any dramatic changes or any artists, you know, blow up overnight like that who who probably didn't have to put in that same oh, track? Of course. Work, that same that's, that, well, that's you know what, what though? I say this, though. It seems like, yeah, but at the same time, you never know somebody's route. Right. So to some right. people, they right. thought we was overnight. You're right. You're right. But right. we had a long, right. we had been in this group, we, us three, right. not, right. not, not, not my brother, no doubt, no who, doubt. who yeah. was a couple, right. right. But right. we all right. been in this group, so we was 13, 14 years old. Right. You know sense. what I'm saying? Yes, so, makes sense. Right. right, you know what I mean? So when you get to that point, you look at it like that, it's yeah. like, for, to, to the world, it's like it's overnight, but to us, this shit was a long haul. But And what's crazy is that I was talking to my daughter then, my daughter's 14, and she said, you know what, I did a report on 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 the group. I said, really? I, I would like to see that report that you passed, first of all. But she was like, <laughs> you know, I will report on the guys. And her teacher was like, well, what do you know about Jack it is? Because I told her, I said, you know, don't, don't go to school. Jack it is my dad. Like, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. Be, be yourself. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So her teacher was like, well, you know, what you know about Jack it is? She said, well, I like this song, I like that music. But yeah, but what do you know about them? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, right. What do you really know? Like, like is, is, is this your mother's group? <laughs> right. And she put you on to right. them? But... We went to, uh, to discuss that. She was like, uh, have you heard about Lil Nas X? Mm. Oh, Lil Nas X. She was like, have you heard about Old Town him? Road. The Old whole town, town, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, I said, Diamond you know what? single. I said, well, right. I don't know much about him. He seemed like he came out of nowhere. Right. And I, had, I, said, and I said, you know what, Mookie? I don't know that because right. me and your uncles, we've been in the group since we was 13. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So we like we like, we looking at twenty plus years. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Certified yeah. in the industry, but before then, you know, we was rehearsing. We didn't go to cookouts and stuff like that. Right. We was in, the, you know, we was rehearsing in all that the time. Garage so. or at the, at the Grand Park, one of the two. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> shout out to Grand Park. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I mean, I, if when you look at it like that, I totally understand it because it's almost like Jasmine Sullivan career. Like I didn't know her history until mm-hmm. like, and she did. Yeah, she had done Apollo. Apollo, yeah, she was right, younger. Right, right, like right, it was, right. it was a whole right. role. Right. To get to where she yeah. would, you know, is at now, you know right. what I mean? Right. So, yeah, I totally understand that. Right. Yeah. All right, man. Well, next up on that music and money, we're gonna get ready for our guest today, Marcus Burns. Take a quick break and bring him in. All right. On these views from the edge, we still in our music and money right now. We got our guest, Marcus Burns. What's up, man? Yeah, Marcus what Burns. What up, what up, Marcus up, Burns in the building. STL. What's up, man? No doubt. Right. Yeah, for STL. all for all y'all that don't know, man, he's one of the um producers. Of um, Housewives or whatever, um, he has you know uh, Housewives of Atlanta. He's done numerous other shows Dope. and all this, man. Christmas and you said one our families, mm-hmm. man. And and he got this new book, man. Yeah. The debriefing of Marcus Burns, mm-hmm. man. So mm-hmm. make sure y'all check that out. Support well, that. Man. Support. Yeah, support. Yeah. Support. Yeah. Support. Bestseller, baby. Black on. You already know. Um, <laughs> so look, yeah. Before we get into all that, Marcus, just tell us, you know, from your point of view, a little about, about yourself. Let the viewers know. Got you. Know you. Know yes, sir. Oh man. Um, which leads back into my book. I'm from St. Louis, man. I lived in, uh, but I lived in Chicago in the Wild Hunters. Right. I lived in South Central. Went to Dorsey High School. I lived in South Memphis. You went to Dorsey? Yeah. You know Paul? They, they kicked me out of Dorsey. Oh, for real? Damn! <laughs> how, you, how you get kicked out of Dorsey? I've been kicked out of three states' public school systems. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Memphis, they kicked me out. I lived in Milwaukee when I went to college, and I went back to Chicago, and then I lived in Minneapolis. But they kicked me out of Minneapolis, and they kicked me out of Missouri. Mm. But... Part of the reason I even wrote the book, man, was because, like, me, I'm an executive producer in TV right now. Wow. And the pandemic made me realize, man, like, people, you see people that get to a certain point, you be hating on them, man. Mm-hmm. Why he shining? You don't know how long it took somebody to get to this. Right. Yeah. The struggle and nothing. Me, yeah, I grew up on the street. Like, we literally lived in our car. I right. literally was in the house of my mama when they evicted us right. and Damn. threw our shit on the front porch. Wow. And that, as a kid, I took care of my grandmother. So for me... My life didn't really make sense until I was 29 years old. Right. Other than that, I struggled from a baby right. till I was 29. Right. So I was traumatized. So right. I wrote the book, man, because you just really never know who people are and, right. and 
that we understand. And I wanted people to read that, and I like how people see me now. They think mm. I got college degrees. I don't right. have. I never graduated right. high school. Right. right. I got a GED, and I tried college, and I quit that. Right. right. It wasn't for me. Yeah. But people see me and respect me, and I want little people, little guys, to read that, or anybody realize Absolutely. where it ain't matter where you at. Just start you building on your. Hey, 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 bro. Let me tell you something. The Cinderella stories are the best. Yeah. <laughs> you understand me? And, Underdogs, um, you know, all of those. And 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 I'm. I got to get my GED. I never did graduate, mm-hmm. and so so your story. I, I'm 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 definitely gonna read your book. Absolutely. You understand know what I'm saying? Because it's like those hardships are not taking you know life by you know what I'm saying seriously, wild and not not knowing why you wild and not because you probably felt like you you was dealt a, a unfair hand. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You hungry? Mm-hmm. You're homeless? You know what I'm saying? So it's like you know fuck everything at this point. <laughs> so you know? so so I mean my question is. You know, for a man, and and I'm and I, I'm always interested in these answers from everybody who's been through some shit. Um, but for a black man that's that's gone through so much, how have you how have you grounded your feet now? You know what I mean, as man, a, as yeah. an adult. You know, man, I realize uh, family is so important, man. People, it's like in my book, strangers encourage me. People that care about your people, you care about. That's your purpose. Mm. Until you figure out what's the next thing. Right. And for me, my when I, I had my kid when I was 17, man, and um, the fact that me and her mom broke up, I had to fight for her for 16, 17 years. Mm. I be looking at that, you know, during the process, it was the worst shit in the world. Right. right. But when you look, I was like, damn, I came out of nothing, and God put something for me to fight for. Right. No mm. doubt. And by me having to fight for that thing when it didn't make sense, no I'm sitting in front of y'all right here with a book and all kinds right. of Right, real talk. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So for me going through all that in the process of it, which is the hardest thing, I didn't understand. Right. But I knew I had to live through whatever I went through because mm-hmm. there was somebody waiting on me I cared about. Wow. Right. And I want to ask you too, because you know, because I know your daughter, you know, mm-hmm. talking about a beautiful you know, articulate, intelligent young lady, mm-hmm. responsible young lady, you know, get out here and do it do it for herself yeah. as well as with your help. But, you know, for you, coming from somewhere where you didn't have that father figure like you needed, like you wanted, how were you able to give her what she needed? Where she, you know, because you, know you know I know your relationship and she relates to you so beautifully. How was you able to do that um, for her? You know what I mean? You know, it's crazy, man. My dad been around my whole life, but we never spoke. Right. So, mm. right. Mm. Then they buried him the day before. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You got to elaborate. What's yeah, the, I mean, yeah. yeah. You just took that. So, look. <laughs> what does father, that mean? So, nothing against my mother, but I left home at 15, but my because of my father. He, I have a sister up under me, same right. father, other right. siblings. And he was around dealing with my mom my whole life. He just never spoke with me. However, she Crazy. did it. And I think, I, and looking back, I think her hope was that if she kept him around, that at some point he would It'll break right, the ice. Right, right, right. So, right. you know, sometimes, man, you got and this, you got to forgive people, man. Some people Absolutely. get too Absolutely. far gone because their intentions be Absolutely. right. But life is life. When life take over, yeah. it's life. But, but why? Why? Well, why? I mean, I mean, he, he was just like, like. Yo, he, real talk, I, I got sisters and brothers, man, that he dealt with. And. I don't know, and I honestly, because I made some myself, I can be comfortable saying it was his loss. Had right. I not absolutely. became something, absolutely, right. yeah. absolutely. Is your father still here? He just he just, he he just passed. passed. They buried yeah. him. They called me the day they called me a, a week before my birthday, and said, "Can we put you on the bench?" Where I was like, "No," right. and I was like, "You're not gonna not claim me in life, right?" Damn, yeah. claim me in dying. I, I, I get that, bro. The blessing <clears throat> was I didn't harbor no hearts. Well, absolutely, hearts, absolutely. Hearts. absolutely. Right, sure. right. I tried to figure out if I had any, but I never had any emotional attachment. So for other people, you know, because I used to hear Jay-Z and Nas talk about their fathers, mm-hmm. and I used to wonder, like, damn, will I get to that point one day you can leave mm-hmm. right, to try right, to talk right, to this right, man? Right, right. But you I didn't feel nothing. So I don't know when I turn 60, will I be like, I wish I had my dad. Right. And you know, my uncle who took me off the street, who I wrote a big a chapter about, maybe because he fulfilled that space. Right. He you called miss me. it like absolutely. Because there's moments in your life right. that catch you that be Absolutely. And let me tell you something, that's what the most high do. You, you may that's not have fact. it exactly how you're supposed to have it, but he's gonna make sure you he get what you need. To make you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, no, that's absolutely. incredible, man. And you know, you know, we talk about these things all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do think and want to commend you too, because like you said, I mean, we all done been through some things, not quite is 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 you know what I'm saying, is yours, but you gotta you gotta move on. You gotta forgive, you gotta forget, you gotta move on, man. You, man, you can't I, I just told my daughter, and nothing teaches you resilience like a long fight. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. A long fight. When, when you go through a long fight that you actually stay passionate about your, your side through that whole fight, you understand what resilience means. Absolutely. That's that's what that shows you the definition of it to yourself. Key, so yeah. The key thing, and if I say this one, the key thing I learned though, college is one that I say going to college, you get a degree by going through college. 
it's very few things in life that you can't accomplish unless you go through a system. So when I realized no mm-hmm. matter what it is, I could figure out my way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I was like, damn. People be raising us up and kind of lying us and making us have this vision Absolutely. of how things are supposed to happen. It's only right. one way to get there. And that's, that's why a the lie. disappointment Absolutely. and the depression and all that happened. When I uh. figured out, like, man, there's 25 motherfucking ways. Absolutely. To get out the <laughs> Absolutely. No doubt, no doubt. <laughs> I didn't feel disappointed in myself because I knew I had 20 more ways to right. try. Mm, but that's people, real. When mama said, do blah, 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 right. they didn't do it. They right. successful and depressed right now. Cause right. They, they didn't soul. do it. You know, and, it. and it's crazy that he said it because I remember even that's us, you know what I mean? You know, as far as dealing with the entertainment side of, of that of that conversation, us being the type of group where we didn't want to be, we didn't want to be boys and men. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to be Jodeci. We didn't want to win no suits. We didn't, we didn't fight, right, bro. and and yeah. and even we didn't want to be the, the acapellas thing. You know what I mean? Right. So I remember K. Wells asking one day, "Well, if y'all don't want to do this, y'all don't want to do that, y'all want to be who y'all gonna be?" We said we gonna Jagged be Jagged Edge. Edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was <laughs> like, "Whatever that means." But we like, the, I mean, we we felt strongly what is about a Jagged Edge? right. What is a Jagged Edge? <laughs> right. but, but but even that, like, it creates a disposition. Mm-hmm. Right. Like I remember, I first saw Trent Awards. <laughs> right. They introduced us wrong. Absolutely. Like everybody who was standing on the podium, with they said their name, and in the place of Jagged Edge, they said Queen, Queen Latifah. Latifah. What? And we love so, Queen. So you know, just being the person that I am, when when, I, when it came our time to say whatever who we was presenting, I forgot what the hell we was supposed to say. What the script was. Right. The first thing I said is, we're not Queen Latifah. First we off, Jagged we're Edge. We're not Queen Latifah. And 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 and, and, that, and that point right there brought that to mind because. We've always had that certain disposition mm-hmm. that was created by either doubters, um, mm-hmm. you know, bumping our head a few times on right, our own, right, right. Um, and understanding, f- first and foremost, where the hell we wanted to end up at. Right. You know what I mean? So, so I wanted to also ask you, too, because we always deal with the industry, and you know, mm-hmm. like when you, you know, being a, a producer of such a successful show like Real Housewives of Atlanta and some other shows, you know, that, that you right. got going. When when you when you behind that camera and you and you in those production meetings, what is it y'all looking for to say? I know this person's gonna be a big reality TV mm-hmm. star. You know what I'm saying? Because most of us think it's just drama, right? But, <laughs> or, right. And it might right. be that, but right. just you know, you know what what speak to that. So the good thing about Housewives, I'm gonna say, because that's the show that actually groomed me, and luckily right. I, I was blessed to have that show to groom me with the people that led it. Right. Mm-hmm. Say, it's right. the people that's behind the scenes. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, casting any reality show, you want a unique character. Absolutely. I don't need to make you act, but if it's something special about who you are, you pop off the screen. Cal, you know for you, you people, you walk in the room, people know Cal in the room. Absolutely. Not, that's good, because right. I don't have to do nothing. He's already that person. Right. Now, what's so good about what helped me with that show is, we was actually finding people that was willing to show their lives. Right. Real mm. stuff. Right. Actually Real right. Stuff. So if you ever and that's what we've been reluctant to do, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still in. Go ahead. On them, but, <laughs> but you ever notice, you see the personal story, you see stories with the group. Mm-hmm. So whatever they do with them girls, we all know you don't got to you put five women in the room. It's, no, it's gonna be oh, drama. Absolutely, absolutely. It's gonna be <laughs> fireworks. <laughs> yeah. But the personal story right. is where the producers come in because, like I tell people, in this business and entertainment as a whole, it's not a lot of us this skin right. that's in leadership. Right? Absolutely. Right. But we have to for us that's on the ground that's dealing with what they call y'all casting as a talent. We got to find a happy medium of let's make a good show because it's still entertainment. But right. we in y'all house with y'all family, with y'all kids. We digging in stories in your life that might come back up and be in the media. Yes. So it's about y'all trusting us and saying, hey, what happened? Like me and my husband, me and my girl got into it. Right. Why did I get into it? Because I did this and somebody texted my phone. And it make a good story. How you feel right, about it? Right, right, right. And then, so they work. It's a, it's a, a collective effort. Right, right. Some shows you do see that's about a lot of drama, but you got to look at... How old is your daughter? 14, 15. So somebody 21, 22 that's a cast member of the show, they impulsive already. Right. So you sit them in a room, a producer can be like, don't do that. That's how you mix and match them. Yeah, they're going to do it. The producer can be like, don't do it. But somebody might say something. I can't stop that girl from talking to me. So so let me ask you this question. Because I think now you see a good balance of drama um, uh, as opposed to maybe the family-oriented, you know, type reality show. Which do you think, if any, is more lucr- is more of a lucrative mm. venture? Tell the truth. Every, no, yeah. everybody like a car crash. Right. Exactly. You notice on the highway when traffic slow down. That's what we're getting at. Some, some of that slow down is just people watching. You real talk, real talk, real talk. And I and, and see, I be getting at all that because I feel like, as a country, it's some looking in the mirror we got to do. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, okay, everybody likes a car crash, and guess what? 
uh, be accountable and say that. You know what I mean? Stop. We, it's like sometimes we, we don't like to uh, right. to own up to right. to our to our you know sugar coat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? to our guilty pleasures. We don't yeah. like to own up to that. And I think no matter what it is that you are, it always make a a, a, a healthier con- conversation when you represent who you really are. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? That's that's why some people you know. That's what made reality TV stars bigger when they start. Because it's a million you, million you, right, million, million right, you, right. million people like me. It's about reaching them people. Right. Mm-hmm. Some of these reality stars just said, I grew up, think about it, girls that grew up in a strip club. Right. That ain't been educated. They authentically who they are. Right. You might not like it. Right, but, but it's a punk, bunch of people relate to that story. Yeah, absolutely. If they got absolutely. in front of the right people, they would be very successful. Right, right, but right. But right, the world right, kind of right. sheltered where certain people don't be seen right. the right way unless right. somebody right. else getting out of their pocket. Real right. talk. So when you watch yeah. reality TV, it's about who's going to resonate. And then, like you said, the country need to look at itself. Black people on TV are held to a different standard than mm-hmm. our white counterparts. In, in, in life, period. But. In, li- in life. Right. In yeah, life, period. And that's yeah. a struggle in every industry I worked in, man. I worked in the juvenile center. It's always been that. And my thing, I've learned how to be myself, right. not kiss nobody ass, right. and not treat my people like shit, and to have real conversations with other people who don't understand us, especially black men. Yeah. You can yeah. ask me to make a show all day long, but if you don't understand who we are as a core, you got my guys you probably ain't gonna get the way that comes right. conflict mm-hmm. with me because right, I'm right. trying to do some shit down. Mm-hmm. They, they y'all y'all don't get do. right. Yeah. So we <laughs> have to have these conversations. Right, with each right. So let's make the show, but let's stay true to who we really are. Right, right, right. Fact. I'm gonna ask you one more question, man. We're gonna make this our last question for this segment. Um, but um, what do you see yourself in the next ten years? My next ten years, man. I want to have a family locked in. Mm-hmm. And I'm having. I want to have my production company, legitimate oh, production oh, company, yeah. film, TV, movies. There you go, bro. And I want to be able to hire yeah. more of us and groom up some people that probably wouldn't have opportunities to begin yeah. with. Mm-hmm. Bro, so, man, facts. Yeah. Mark, man, let me tell you something. You are a very interesting, bro. Definitely, man. For real, for real, from the heart. I've enjoyed life. this conversation. I don't man. like to read, but I'm going to read that book. No doubt. <laughs> you know what I'm and we're going to tell y'all again, man. Make sure y'all pick up the the, 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 the debriefing of Marcus Hold Burns. Hold on, what we done? The debriefing. I had a couple more oh, questions, sorry. Pepe. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. We're going to tell the last one. They were giving, a, they, no, they, they were giving <laughs> us a signal. We was, uh, we, 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 but, but we good. Come on. We, we, no, we I mean, I just think... Um, and it just go back. It just goes back to what I was saying before. I think um, it's okay to say you like some drama. You know what I mean? I think it's okay. Like I, I feel like a lot for a long time, reality shows have caught a lot of slack over you know the imagery that they put out there. But I also know that, like you said, that imagery imagery is true to a lot of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think it's okay to see some shit that's make you a little uncomfortable, mm-hmm. and say that you know what. Th- that was a little ratchet, but I enjoy it. It's okay to say you enjoy some ratchet right, shit. Right. <laughs> no I no think, Jack, that's we always been cool with letting people know that's okay. Like, yeah. it's a, you a little ratchet, it's okay. Own that. And I just think, like I said, when you have honest conversations from every side of it, whether it's black, whether it's white, whether it's a gender conversation, the conversation should be honest, you know? Yeah. When it's honest, you can really get somewhere. You can't yeah. stop internalizing what one person do is all of us did it. Mm-hmm. Right. That's because right. what you don't like about the hot squads, it doesn't represent everybody. Oh, every, exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. exactly. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. Is everybody exactly. singing? No. Yeah. Some people yeah. rapping. Is right. everybody rapping? Yeah. Right. 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 A, lot of, a lot of folks' households are boring, so, you know what I'm saying, they need right. that drama. Yeah. Like, that that <laughs> adds a little drama to my household. Like, mm-hmm. I, not necessarily in, you know, I'm feeling in my house, but it's like, you know, again, I'm rubbernecking. I'm watching a car. I'm watching a car crash. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Basically, yeah. you know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. It's a stimulus. Everything yeah. you do is a stimulus. That's what you. Entertainment is a stimulus. Right. Um. For me, though, you know, I wanted to get into your book a little bit. What do you think? You know, if if you could tell somebody without reading this book, what's the most interesting thing about this book that that somebody could learn from reading this book, and and, then, and that they could apply to, to their own lives? You know what I'm saying? Um, in this book, man, I was transparent about how I felt. Right. You know, when you're struggling, you don't get a chance to think about how you feel. You just got to survive. Right. Mm-hmm. Real talk. So when you're surviving, Facts. <laughs> you just, you, you narrow-minded, you're getting through this. Right. Like they, they joke about chasing women. You can walk and get one. Why right. would you run? I mean, run and get them one. Mm-hmm. Walk, get them all. Right. Mm-hmm. And life, when you fucked up and, and shit bad, you mm-hmm. can't talk to yourself how you feel. Right. So that's why people med- self-medicate and try to talk. And in my book, what you'll realize what I did was I was a, um, a calculated person. Mm-hmm. Which they try to say some people make it sound bad. I had to calculate every move because I knew like I need a kid right now. 
That's true. Mm-hmm. My daughter right now, oh, I can get murdered. And I done been drugged. Five people drugged That's me and Ali tried to kill me. Right. Wow. While I was looking in my daughter's bedroom, knowing I had a baby in the crib up there. Right. But I also felt like God was talking to me in that moment. Wow. So you see in this book, no matter what happened to me, I had to lie to myself so I could feel good about it to keep making it. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I could have wow. internalized those feelings. I'd be in prison because I would have murdered somebody. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, and like That's I crazy. said, you know, the thing about your story that, you know, even people ain't quite went through everything you went through, they can relate because <clears throat> as young men, we put ourselves in many situations. We ain't know we are going to make it out of real right. talk. Thanks. I remember being in a few situations with these brothers and saying to myself, <laughs> Lord, is this it? <laughs> like, no, like, nah, like, is it going to end like this? Yeah, that's you know real. Like, like, you ask yourself, is, is it going to end right For here? For real, you know like, what I'm saying? You know, you, we done lived out a, a right, couple times. Right, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, to, to, to see you put that in your book and just, you know, like I said, I know you, so, you know, yeah. it's a little different for me. And I know that, you know, most things you say, you really are about that. You know what I mean? That's a beautiful thing. But, um, so tell everybody where they can get your book from. And, right and now, it's going to be on, um, it's going to be on Amazon and, and Barnes and Noble later, but it's on my IG, right. on my own website. Right. At MarcusOburns.com, M-A-R-K-U-S-O-B-U-R-N-S.com. So, so, I mean, this is my last question. I'm sorry. I'm shit. He, like you said, it's interesting. It's interesting. But, yeah. so, after all the things you've been through, mm-hmm. right, and I guess it go back to my first question, too, about how did you land your feet on solid ground, but, but my question really is, being a, a I guess, adjusted, a, a, an adjusted adult to everything that's happened to you, do you feel like now, even after you've gotten over it, that that uh, therapy is necessary or is it necessary? Mm. Mm. I'm glad you asked that. Mm. Good I, question. Um, mm. I actually talked to a therapist. Mm. And now that I was comfortable, I got a chance to realize what I really needed in my life. Mm. In relationships. I never knew what to look for in relationships because I was struggling. So right. I'm a bum ass nigga. You like me. Thank you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. So when I got comfortable, now I could say, damn, I need a nurturing woman. That can right. me, okay, I'm smart enough to know this, but I don't know this. Right. Right. So now I know dating a somebody compliment. that mm-hmm. I'm in a place in a position that can change people's lives, but I need somebody strong next right. to me. Right. 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 But at first I didn't. So yeah, I go to I talk to a therapist. Um, I actually encourage a lot of people to do it because it's just like talking to your homeboy. Right, mm-hmm. right. We and us black men, mm-hmm. bro, we traumatized the day we leave the hospital. Right. Absolutely. Right. Right. Speak right. on it. Right. Speak on it. The day we leave the hospital, and then like this is the biggest point I make to everybody. Um, and I've been traveling internationally and been blessed to have friends of all cultures. Black men are expected to live up to the same standard of men in other cultures. You haven't even had the mm. pressure we have. Absolutely. Mm. And our women don't understand it because... Or the disadvantage. The you know what I'm saying? Up. Right. But when they break up the homes, our communication and the way we see each other is distraught. Yeah. Right. So we're not even realistically having real expectations because right. the reality is... How shit is, we supposed to be working together, not telling nobody where we making it. Right. Because we got the right. money that right. we living. Right. But, but it's my money got to be like um, Timothy's money. Right. Knowing. Right. right. Timothy got my school is advantages right. that you didn't have. Right. right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. 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 And he come from money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he can get another loan. Right. right. Real talk. <laughs> my, and this is my last question. We're going to really wrap it up right here. Um, But, you know, we all got kids, and we all had our kids at a young age as well. So I'm just wondering, being the father of a, of a beautiful young lady, mm-hmm. and who's you know respectful, intelligent, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? What what's what kind of advice would you give to other young women coming up right now in this culture, with with the time that we on, and with all the things that's going on in society? What what's the best advice you could give to a young lady coming up right um, now? I always tell my daughter, if you got and these for the ones that got a, tr- a father or a parent or somebody, be transparent. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't hide. I told my daughter. You going to fuck somebody? Make sure you choose you fucking them. Right. If you got a dude you dating, I might not like him. Take him, because I live in a place, take him on the rooftop, have a date. Right. I just need to go through these situations with mm-hmm. her, because I don't need her to be um, traumatized by the broken heart. Right. Whatever you got. If Bro, you I just and know that's a possibility. Yeah, yeah, that's a possibility. Yeah, that's a possibility. You know what? And, and as a father of two daughters, like, yeah, what you said, traumatized mm-hmm. by the broken heart, but even more importantly, Swindled by the swindler, right. you know what I mean? Talk. They got that's what they really got to watch out right. for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts. I mean, I mean, hey, hey, I mean, this is crazy because I'm I just had this conversation with my daughter and she mm-hmm. was like, um, I haven't really talked to you in a minute. Then I just felt like I had to reach out to you, right. and I was like, I said, you know what? You know what's crazy? I just saw this movie with um, I don't forgot the white guy name, but he was <laughs> like um, 
he missed like five years of his daughter's life because he was being a hard nosed dad. Didn't mm-hmm. want to meet her boyfriends and want to woo the wop. So mm-hmm. once she got the opportunity to leave, that's what she did. She up and ran out of the house mm-hmm. to that man without the direction that she needed. Without, without mm-hmm. no validation, yeah. no, right, like right. you know, because they didn't have that communication. Right, because right. he was just wanting to be. Don't talk to my daughter. I don't right. want you kissing. I don't right, want you doing right, that. I don't right, want you doing right. that, man. Really, they're gonna do it anyway. Right, do right, it. Right, so right, you right. might as well just be like, look, right. school them. Co- right. You gotta Coach school them. Like, 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 know right. what you're looking right. for. Mm-hmm. And, and and if he asking for this too fast, just right. those are the signs. Right. And boom. So yeah. absolutely, man. Yeah. But absolutely. I think you know another part of the conversation. I think we all gotta have as father. I, man, I mean, are, are we on a time limit tonight? Okay. Another part of the conversation. <laughs> I think Fuck we your got, time limit. No, we man. all gotta <laughs> have as fathers, man. Um, is um. I was watching some shit the other day on Clubhouse, and I think it was Sue Surf. He said some shit, made a, a great point. He said, um, if you're teaching your daughter that she don't need a man, and that's that, yeah, you teaching, you're, right, you're teaching your daughter how to be miserable at some point right, in her life. Because right. that wears off no matter who you are, no matter how strong you are in the beginning on that stance. Like, And he started bringing up um, something that he has seen where all these successful women um, they basically have sold a lie, you know. Go after your dreams, and not not that you shouldn't, but go. It's sold a lie in the sense that go after your dreams. You don't need a man for this, and you don't need a man for that. But you get older, Bingo. and then and then and then that whole pool of guys that was once fucking with you right. ain't <laughs> right. right. So your 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 pool of guys and shrunk, yeah. meaning your opportunities to be happy with a man have have dissipated. What? So when you choose the money over. Everything else, you setting them up for absolutely. failure in terms of happiness. Absolutely. Like, right. like and then you working behind the eight ball, as they right. say. You know what I mean? So, as fathers, we got to teach our daughters that. Like, yeah, you got to be this independent, strong woman. But don't never think it wasn't about having a partner. I tell my it was mom, always I'm about having not a partner. I'm to go tell no man I'm independent. Mm-hmm. And I told her this reason why. When you say these words to a man, if God made my purpose for me to be your counterpart, and you tell me absolutely. you don't need me, absolutely. Right. Okay, let me go. Absolutely. Who need me? Yeah, who, who need me? me? We can rap absolutely. about who don't. Exactly. Who need we, me? Absolutely. Yeah. We're providers anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Men, we really are here to provide. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. God and, gave and it to a man. You know, man, you had this conversation all the time, too, and it's not even, it's not biblical. You know what I'm saying? It's not supposed to be about how much you make over this man or how much power you right. got over this it man. About Y'all that. supposed to be one unit, period. Right, so you damn right. right you need him. You and damn right he that. needs you back. You, you know, know what, man? As I get older, I find very few things um, in terms of what you should be living for that's more important than just love. Yeah. And it, I think it always sounds cliche coming from some R&B niggas, but I don't care if, <laughs> we I, don't give a if damn. I was another nigga and I lived this many years on this planet with my experiences, I would have came to the same conclusion. Mm-hmm. Like, it ain't. Mu- it's not much more important than love. Right. The loving you giving, and the loving you receiving. Right, ain't nothing. That's Period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, all the rich men I know tell me that now, man. The yeah. old rich guys and my yeah. old mentors, they yeah. like. Man, my girls break up. They like to try again. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, <laughs> try again. Try again. Yeah, don't be alone. Yeah. Damn right. You try mm-hmm. again. Like, like I, oh, that was the example I wanted to give y'all. It was so dope. He said, um, if somebody put you in a backyard, and they told you that. It's a million dollars in that backyard. <laughs> this shit was so cold. So he told you, it's a million dollars in that backyard. And the first ho- hole you dug, it wasn't it. Would you just walk away? Yeah, no, shit, no. Digging. And that's how you got to look at the love of your life. That's right. You or the potential, <laughs> you know, or the potential of having love. Man, y'all that's be wrong as hell. Oh, look at it. Like, poo, the big right, poo. You going to keep on digging. <laughs> <laughs> you going to keep digging in that bitch, <laughs> bro. I promise. <laughs> Hey, so I stole your shit, bro. Much love. <laughs> no, that's good. Marcus, man, I would say your story is inspiring to hear, bro. And I just, yeah, as, a, as a listener and as a, a watcher, I appreciate you sharing the gems, not holding on to those down. I appreciate you writing the book, sharing that, putting that out. I feel like a lot of our OGs, the game is to be sold, not to be told. They not trying to give it away, but young guys need that. I think about my little cousin. Three felonies, can't get no job nowhere. You know what I mean? Just messed up at a young age. Right. Both parents he killed. Here that you can still get up out there, but yeah. and yeah. get it big. That's a so, fact, but, 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 but you thank know you, what, brother. Though, you know what? Uh, and and God, He has set you up. Speak on it, Kyle. Have a testimony. All right, because right. you sit your ass down you when you ass down <laughs> and be like, All right, I need you to, <laughs> I need you to do something for me, <laughs> and I'm getting a little out sport. of hand over. So, bro, I'm telling you, bro, bro, you inspired me, bro, and regardless of. 
who we are and the success that Jagged Edge have, I always get inspired by me too. what yeah. you know inspires me, regardless yeah. of where it's set in life or how much money it fighters, is. Fighters, man. Fighters bro, inspire bro, bro, me. Bro, you got my, my wheels spinning in my head about, <laughs> yeah. you know, because, I mean, we got some similarities of uh, me being kicked out of school. I, I mean, it, it wasn't a school that I could not get kicked out of. <laughs> that was this nigga going to find a way to get kicked out. He, <laughs> believed, he perfected the art <laughs> oh, of getting oh, kicked out. Oh, y'all want me to stop? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. After I had only known a week, I got kicked out of class like yeah, the, right, the very real. next week. <laughs> but look, I remember, I remember when we first got our first deal in high school, we came to pick him up from the high school. He, he basically did like the nigga who won the lottery and went to work and said, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did in school. Yeah. We like, we hey, got our deal. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Ain't never went back. I always got to turn up and talk about that I used to rap, and the principal came in. She go, just go to everybody lunch and rap. They thought I was getting a record deal. I, yeah. Rap and the lady came in. And she was like, "Are oh, you Marcus Brown?" I said, "Yeah, send me to another school." Right. <laughs> and I swear to God, the next day she had sent my you papers. To another school. Right. Did what, did what you wanted, right? I went to the other school, like teach myself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. Good. Wow. So while we got you here and while we got Kyle speaking, we are gonna get in some of these wild Kyle wild. Let's do it. Go. Man, after this, we gonna wrap Let's this do thing. it. I know we've been on here for a while, y'all, but we are gonna wrap it up. Come so on. man, yeah, uh, y'all know we recording this right before Valentine's Day, and Kyle got all the advice in this curse. Yes, this I do. Spicy. So Langston confused That's in the right. flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Langston. First up in the wild Kyle wild card questions. Marcus, feel free to pan in on any of these while you're here, brother. Um, have you ever done it big for Valentine's Day? If so, give us some gems on something you can do. And Kyle. Not just for big budget people. We want to hear what right, what right, what right. what your average budget man can right, do right, too, right, man. Right. First of all, I'm gonna tell you like this. What you got? I'm gonna tell you like this. You know, you gotta tell your lady, look, uh, we're not gonna make this an expensive <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> and see what she say after that. You know what I'm saying? You be like, you know lie. what? Then you're not <laughs> you know what? Then you not even Yeah, I knew you was a goddamn. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, and sometimes you got you got to you got to set the question up. To know what you're dealing with. And I'm talking about like the first time Valentine. Okay. <laughs> you understand know what I'm saying? So I throw that question out there and I just say to her, you know, um, well, what you want for Valentine's Day? You know, and if her answer be, you know, I, I want a watch. Well, you don't have a watch. <laughs> it ring, you don't have an earring. <laughs> why, why are you looking for this when you don't have that? You don't wear it on you a regular basis. It's going to be a cheap Valentine's Day <laughs> right, for you. You right. understand know what I'm saying? So to me, man, uh, Boom. <laughs> beautiful answer, my brother. I am mad at it. So that what I got for is you got to listen to your woman. You got to listen. Right, right. Yeah. When she's oh, that's what you got out of that? Okay. That's what okay. I got, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust I don't celebrate. I don't trust that right. so long. If I've been loving you, we in a relationship, and I've been loving you all year, and you make a big deal right. on Valentine's Day, I think you're doing it for everybody Hey, else. right. Like, real tough. Me. Real right. tough. I, I don't celebrate that, holidays in general, so you know what I mean? I feel you. She was not feeling that shit. She was not feeling <laughs> but I mean, to us, to men, it make a whole lot of sense. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> What's the next question, man? Come on. Well, we got R and B legends. You guys are jagged edge. Mm -hmm. The people want to know, man. Do you smash to your own music? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I'm gonna tell you what my home. We have is. on request. <laughs> yes, we on have. request. Like my partner said, on request. Yeah. If you know, if, you, if, if, if first of all. <laughs> When you in the mix or something, you go shit. Right. You gonna do whatever she pretty much get it done. Right, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Whatever so, she yeah. Pay right. that number nine. Not whatever. Right. Bro. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like for me though, I mean, I, I agree with all that too. But yeah, I mean, I have been in relationship with. That's what the woman wanted here. Right. You know what right. I'm saying. That's what I'm. You, we, right. We can't think that we got so many people or or a generation of people who love to smash our music, but the people we would never do. You know what I'm is saying? It, is it a feeling of uncomfort? Or do y'all feel You it? know what? And you, nah, nah, no, because we nah, know everything we did to create it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And <laughs> like, that was the point. Right. You know what I'm we saying? We made it so that you would feel like that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Exactly. This this is what I need. Exactly. When I'm, you know what and it's almost like a physical rehearsal. <laughs> you know what I'm You saying that at the same time? Like, oh, physical and spiritual <laughs> rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, that. Really good. <laughs> so check this out, fellas. Uh, today in hip hop, especially, but all around the music industry, we're seeing females. They wearing the big Cuban link chains. They got big face rollies, and even now, Asian doll, who's a popular female rapper, mm -hmm. has a full grill. I'm yeah, talking about right, all sixteen. Right, right. Big chain. It's feminine big money. Is it dying in hip hop? Um, no. It's no, just been right. cheap in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And I, you know, like we were talking about this earlier, too, though, I think um, that term 
boss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A woman feeling like a real boss bitch yeah. is right. what makes them say, I'm going to get the same shit them other boss niggas got. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But no, you still see some, some femininity with it, though. You know what yeah, I'm when I say achieving it, I mean, like, because you made it, it's viable. You right, know what I mean? Right. You, you you made that feminine wilds, that that things that rep, that women represent, you made it, it's for sale. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And I think in a lot of music, that's what it sounds like. Right. Okay. And I, that's, okay. That's not meaning that I'm going to charge every woman that that's what they're right. doing, but in the music, that's what it sounds I'm, I'm, like. And, 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 and for me, and I'm, I'm just speaking for me, and, and I hope the female rappers don't get upset with me, those that have the gold teeth and the big chains, but I, I, I'm really not impressed when a female acting like a guy. Me Speed neither. Talk. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, real talk. They do that for each other. That part is for like, each other. Like, they do that like, for the other you know, female. You're mimicking uh, a nigga. You know, my brother, told you know? Me, my brother told me this. He was like, he, he said, a woman is more likely to be a product of her man before you become a product of her. It yeah, should be. It should be. That's, that. how, it's to be. That's how God yeah, intended so it to be. So me, when I look at the way the music changes, right, yeah, yeah. it's only a matter of time for shit evolve. And then if you're looking at right now, women, you know, coming with this voice, now they got something to really say because for somebody they didn't say nothing. But that's what they, I'm saying. That's that's yeah. what we look at. Like, I think this whole big wave of women rap is dope as fuck. Yeah. I like most of them in terms of yeah. the personality, the color that they bring into the game. Um, I like a lot of that. But I also think, like, where uh, where is where is they Nas and where is they Jay Z? Right, right. You know I mean, mm. somebody who gonna come out and speak on some shit. Right. You can talk the talk. You can have all the you know. We all know the dealers, the killers, but but speak on some shit like sometimes. Right. Like, yeah, right. like yeah. right, right. Where, where are those female artists? And you said something interesting too, though. Um, basically, you said in in so many words, you saying a woman gonna meet a man where a man is at. And I'm I had this conversation with somebody recently. Um, I feel us. As a as an entity, we responsible for some of what these kids have been doing, and and I say that though though we put out songs with messages like "Get Married," even "Let's Get Married," we had a strip club scene. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just I'm just keeping it real, right? Because it's things that I, when I go back and look at it, even though we was, but that was just part of us saying, okay, we put out such a positive message. Let's still put some of us in it, and that's where we was in life at that time. Yeah. We was going in strip clubs, and, and you know, we was doing, you know, doing what niggas doing. You know what I'm saying? I, so that's why I want to clear. It's, it's not even about knocking what they do. Right. Absolutely. It's about where is that other right that balances what, out what is, they're doing. Right, Don't stop is, what you're doing. Right. We just need another artist to give us another perspective and another lane. And Cole, right, yeah. but all I'm saying right, is, right, right, I'm just, right. I'm just, I'm just yeah. Larry backing off of what he said in the sense of they meeting us where we put the game at. We, yeah. our generation, put such a emphasis on strip cl- strip club culture. Right. Yeah, they did. So we can't be yeah, mad at did. where they're gone to from we there. Did. Now yeah. we didn't have everybody getting straight ass naked in the videos, but we it, it was close and it started with our generation. You know what I mean? So yeah. that's all I'm saying. We can't do so much condemning when we when we, when we I'm not saying it's not a, I'm not saying you did anything. <laughs> we can't be so do so much condemning when we when we are a part of the the the, the growth of where it gone to. And when I say growth, I don't mean that a beautiful thing, but it's still progressed to where it's at. And we're a part of that. You but know what I think I'm saying? when you get to the point where where you one of the elders in the community, which in music we are definitely that right. um you can't be afraid to speak. Like somebody got to pat them on the butt and say, "Hey, that was the wrong way." Absolutely. Over here is, a, or not even the wrong way. That was one way to do it, Absolutely. right? And that has a limited result. Over uh-huh. here is another way to uh-huh. do it, and uh-huh. the results ain't as limited. Uh-huh. You're not alienating as many people. Um, you know, like I said, I think one of the biggest differences between the artists today and 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 the artists from our era is that it's not just one the thing. Young, the younger it's artists shit. act like. Old people don't buy music. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talk, like you making talk. music that almost totally alienate a right, certain demographic right. of people. We didn't think when like they this, spend but. money on, I mean, and that's usually historically was the demographic they spent plenty right. money on music, right. you know, and you're right. alienating that demographic. So if you got a check for a million point three dollars this month, Think about if you had if you had included that other whatever percentage of With the population, be, right? right? You know that might be a three million dollar check this Real month. Tough, right. That's all I've been I, I've been trying to get them to look at it. Right. So part of and that's all I'm saying too. Like I'm I'm trying to take responsibility for something. Right. Right. To to kind of like I said, you know, double up on that point that 
it's still another route to go. Like yeah, we we absolutely. we partly responsible for that, but we also took other routes where we didn't include none of that. You know right. what I'm saying? You shouldn't just be so one sided to any part of of the game. You know what I mean? Show that versatility in your music. Show that versatility in your imagery. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? It's it's really dope to hear you know hear y'all contrast like right. that. I don't right. know if it's the twin thing. It's a dope. Right. It's a dope experience. We really say the same thing though. Yeah. But, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just you know I'm just like you know because I had these conversations with, with people sometimes, and it's almost like it was just rap, but. Even us as R and B artists, we had our part in it. We had our mm -hmm. hand in yeah, it. You know what we, we, we created right. the Absolutely. But I think anybody who 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 actually followed Jack, they they know that I feel like when it comes to younger artists, younger music, I've always felt like it's necessary. It's what pushes the culture forward mm -hmm. every yeah, time. Yeah. It's rare that somebody over thirty six come out with something and had a whole country on it. Right. It's mm. usually younger people that drive the culture. Right. Yeah. So I've never felt like I've wanted to say anything that makes them feel like we coming for them. I'm not. I love what over they do. 30. I support what <laughs> they do <laughs> as well as recognize that it's Real necessary talk. what right. they do. Real Respect. Talk. Respect. Last up, while Kyle. Yes, sir. Check this out. A man deals with two women. Mm. The first woman, <laughs> he is completely honest and transparent mm -hmm. with. No lies, tells her everything. Mm -hmm. The other woman, he lies to from time to time. Which one is he in love with? Let me tell you my business, bro. <laughs> Who told you my business? <laughs> Who, you my business? <laughs> Who let you in my phone? <laughs> All right. Man, that's but about me, I mean, but that, that is a great question because... Um, it happens. It, it, I mean, it definitely happens. Sometimes, you know, one do what the other one don't. Right. Uh, one understand better than the other one. Mm -hmm. One cook better than the other one. You know what I'm saying? One, one, can, one can take being told things better than the other. I mean, and, 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 and a lot of times, that's why you have a, a, a another relationship. Right, right. Because you do love your woman because she's a strong woman. She's probably your the mother of your kids. So she have those qualities. But at the same time, she probably get on your goddamn nerves at 530 every day. You know what I'm saying? Here come 530. Yeah, she about to get all work and she about to get on yeah, my goddamn don't. nerves. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So before she get in the highs, I'm finna go, yeah, to my girl house. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? So, um, it's 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 it's, it's a catch twenty two because I don't think you hate either 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 one. They both they, they both just get on your nerves, right? You feel what I'm but saying? Then but then you go ahead. But like you said, I mean, does it mean you love one more than the other? I think. Real talk, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. It's just like you said, like they both said, one can deal with hearing certain things and one just can't. So why would you? Put her in that position day after day or week after week, whatever it is, to 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 see how much she can't handle some shit that you know she can't handle. You just gonna deal with her a certain way, and you are gonna deal with the other one a certain way. And you this know what I'm this uh, this is honest a good, like when I'm about to tell you some real shit. I had a relationship one time, and we started out. I I, I mistaked her. I thought she was so cool because of the way it started out. And in the beginning, I told her every goddamn thing. <laughs> like, everything. Bitch like, man. you know. Your you know friend. I mean? Didn't pull no punches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a couple of months after her hearing things, she probably never thought she would hear it. She was a different person. Like, mm. everything was 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 anxiety-filled. Mm. <laughs> anytime I left the house, anytime I took a call, you know what I mean? So I learned, told me about Yeah, it. so I learned that <laughs> even when you want to be totally inclusive, it ain't always the smartest thing right. for your situation. Right. And, and Every woman don't handle things the same way. Right. Even that's right. biblical. Right. And, and <laughs> what tell you, bro. Life, it's, it's actually about timing sometimes, too. Right. Sometimes you telling a person is something that at the moment you don't know what's going on in their life. Can they even right. handle it? Right. 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 right, right. So right. we deal with each other in relationships, theoretically, what we're mm -hmm. supposed to be, but... Right. Shit, some shit happened that I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing sometimes. So I'm going to come tell you. Right. Exactly. And if I tell you the truth, I'm going to mean it and right you now. you going to hold right. me to that. Right. I'm going to mean it. I ain't sure. Five right. minutes right. from now. Right. But yeah. I lied right. to you without trying. Right. So right. It's, it's tricky. Right. I mean, I mean, but you know what? I mean, I also found that honesty is 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 the best. Sometimes it's not work workable, but it is the best by you just saying, mm -hmm. you know, hey, look, mom, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. And look, listen, I agree, but I also do agree and agree with honesty by omission. <laughs> some, things you just, <laughs> some things you just ain't got to bring up. Some things right, you just ain't right, got right, to talk right. about. You ain't got to deal right, with. But my yeah. girl know that's me anyway. Right. right. You know, Anytime <laughs> I've ever been in a relationship, I said, look, I ain't gonna tell, right, I'm not going to tell on myself. <laughs> yeah. But if you ask me, I'm going to give you the honest truth. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope at that point that you can take it. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. You like, found for out real. your girlfriend was like, 
you know, suicidal, would you tell her the truth about? All right, hey, hey, hey. No, hey, we hey. Would, I wouldn't no, be with a girl right. suicidal. Hey, but, 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 but you know what? Not, hey, not like I'm, I dated a girl like I'm skating on her, but but before I get to that point, I would know that I ain't that type of nigga. That's you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna notice this girl ain't something ain't clicking right. I was dating this girl and. I guess I must have went to the store and a homeboy of mine heard her mother say, girl, what are you doing over there? You need to take your medicines. Yes. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So when my partner, he was like, hey, man, I think hey, you're probably the holler. <laughs> go, go holler at your girl. No, no, go holler at your girl. So I asked her, I said, hey, y'all, um, somebody overheard you saying you got to take your medicine. Is everything okay? Like, like what kind of medicine? And she was like, well, you know, uh, I've been a charter. Oh. So, so, so. I said, yo, yo, let me explain something to you. For y'all that don't know, Charter Peach Fruit is, is a it's a treatment. It's, 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 it's a mental, right. mental facility. Mental okay. facility. Yeah, okay. yeah. So so I'm like, you know, I said, well, uh, we need to talk. Right. For the simple fact that I I, I don't I don't want to come in and you hanging up in my closet right. with the rest yeah. of my shit. I don't want to contribute to you. I don't want to be right, tripping really. or you lose it and, 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 and like 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 uh, 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 what's the name? Me, football player. The football player. He went to sleep, broke up with his girl, shot him. and right. she shot him. Right. Woo. You don't you don't you don't know like you know so in the head. Yeah, don't. In the head, yeah. You gotta let me know, baby. Yeah. You yeah. know if you go on the charter. But look, <laughs> but with that being said, man, it was a great show, man. Yes, Hell yeah, great, Mark, great we appreciate show. you coming and through. And we want to have you back too. Word. You know, when you when you when you get your next venture up and running, we want to have you back. Word. And the, you I got know, right? I already know. That's what right, I said. Right, I already when, know when you. Get your do. next joint <laughs> venture going on or whatever. We want to have you back and, and, and you know, expand to the people. You know, explain yes, to the people what you got going on. Yeah. But uh, with that being said, man, it's been another great show. Yeah, views from the edge. You. We love y'all out there. We're gonna see y'all next week. And uh, you know, y'all y'all be y'all be good to each other till then, man. I love y'all. Boom. Man.